Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my clinical biochemistry playlist, as well as my mnemonics playlist. In previous videos, we talked about sorbitol, we talked about glycogen storage diseases, we talked about galactosemia, lactose intolerance, the pancreatic islet cell tumors like insulinoma, glucagonoma, somatostatinoma, gastrinoma, and even vipoma. Then we talked about cystinuria, cystinosis, and homocystinuria. They are not the same. Then we started talking about connective tissue disorders. We talked about Marfan syndrome, which is a problem in elastin. Today, let's talk about osteogenesis imperfecta, which is a problem in collagen, namely collagen type 1, which is normally present in bones, so these patients will have bone symptoms, including teeth, because teeth are like bones, and the three tiny bones in my ear called the ossicles, so I can get hearing loss, and you can also find collagen type 1 in the eye tissue, including the sclera, so their sclera will be so thin, revealing the choroidal veins underneath, so they will have blue sclera. The last video was about a detailed discussion of osteogenesis imperfecta, today's just a mnemonic. Please watch the videos in this clinical biochemistry playlist in order. Do you remember when we talked about the anatomy of bone and cartilage? Both bone and cartilages come from what? Mesenchyme. When you hear mesenchyme in embryology, remember the mesoderm. Mesenchyme is mesodermal, which means bones come from the mesenchyme or the mesoderm. Look at this. Here is my mesoderm. It gives me bones and cartilages, kidney and ureter, blood and lymph vessels, muscles and tendons. Recall that bones have collagen type 1, but cartilages have collagen type 2. Collagen type 1 is hard. Collagen type 2 is firm. Hard is like touching your forehead. That's hard. Firm is like touching the tip of your nose. That's firm. Not as hard as your skull bones. Reviewing the types of collagen again. Collagen type 1 is in bone. Type 2 is in cartilage. Type 3 is flexible, so you see it in vessels. Type 4 is in the floor, basement membranes. And type 5 is in here in placenta. Osteogenesis imperfecta is a defect in collagen type 1. Please refer to the previous video to learn about the process of making collagen. Osteogenesis imperfecta is an autosomal dominant disease for the most part. Let's review osteogenesis imperfecta very quickly. Most cases are autosomal dominant, but some types are autosomal recessive. The problem is in collagen type 1, which means the gene has col in the name. What does col stand for? Collagen. Col 1. Why? Because it's collagen type 1. These patients have many symptoms. The most important ones to remember are brittle bones, which means bone deformities, bone fractures, short limbs, etc. Brittle teeth. Blue sclera, because it is very thin, revealing the veins underneath. And when I have problems in type 1 collagen, my bones of the ear, the ossicles, will be defective, so I get conductive hearing loss. And here is your mnemonic, osteogenesis imperfecta. Oste means bone, so we have bone problems. Bone fractures could be pathological fractures or compression fractures, sometimes referred to as codfish fractures. Bone deformities, and two things are short. Short stature, I am shorter, my height is short, and short limbs, upper extremities and lower extremities. You will also see this in another disease known as achondroplasia. Saber shins, meaning bowing of the bones, bending of the bones, scoliosis, and conductive deafness. There's also a D mnemonic here. It's autosomal dominant for the most part, conductive deafness and perinatal death, especially with the horrible type 2 osteogenesis imperfecta. Have you noticed that the S is repeated a lot? Osteogenesis. So here's an S, here's an S, 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 and S for the sclera, which is blue. Where's the problem, please? The problem is in type 1 collagen, which is normally in bones, teeth, sclera, and tendons, which means my bones have problems, my teeth have problems, they are opalescent, brown, blue in color, decreased dentin. We call this dentinogenesis imperfecta. Sclera is blue, the tendons are unstable. To learn more about orthopedic surgery and bone fractures, download my Surgery High Yields course. But if you want to learn about ARDS 
angina, myocardial infarction, ischemic stroke, hemorrhagic stroke, and much more, download my emergency medicine high yields course at medicosisperfectsnetage.com. If you do not want to download my courses but would rather watch them right here on YouTube, click the join button, choose the highest tier to gain instant access to more than 300 premium videos right now. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel here or here, go to my website to download my courses, notes and cases, or if you'd like me to tutor you personally. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Genetics where medicine makes perfect sense.